please don't judge <laughs> the way I do my makeup. I'm still oh, in like a very beginner stage. I'm still learning, so. Also, I'm blind, so I'm doing the very best I can at trying to see what I'm doing without actually being able to see what I'm doing. You honestly probably can't even tell that I'm wearing makeup, but I can see it if you get really close. <laughs> um, progress. I'm still learning, like I said. So, you know, yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Vanessa here, and today is an exciting vlog because it is my last first day of school. Oh my gosh. Finally! Hallelujah! We've been ringing bells all the day. Great. Exciting stuff. Uh, so obviously I'm just going to document the day because I feel like this day is such an average day, but for me it's like more special in a way. I don't know. I just want to have someone to look, um, look, why can't I talk today? I just want to have someone to look back on after I graduate, which is crazy because I'm graduating this semester. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. <laughs> so today is Monday, January 27th. Um, yeah. Um, I go to UMass Boston. We start so late, which I don't really like. So this whole month has been like dragging on because everyone's back in school and back to their lives and I've still been on break, which probably sounds weird to complain about because everyone's like, you know, who would complain about having a break? Me. I would. Um, so yeah. So I am taking five classes this semester. Um, I have classes Monday through Thursdays. Uh, no classes on Friday. Woo. Today and all my classes are an hour and fifteen minutes, which is gonna be rough because I can't. That's really a long time to just sit still for me personally. But we're gonna have to do it. Um, today I have two classes. I have an advanced English class. It's my senior capstone. So nervous for that but looking forward to it my professor i know she's nice and then the second class today is my um design and curriculum class for my education minor and i'm excited for that i've been looking forward to that class for a long time now so yeah i just finished getting ready and soon i'll be heading out the door and back to campus and i'm gonna take you along with me all right gotta show off the last day outfit you know I kind of wish that I was one of those kids who like took a picture on every first day of school since kindergarten all the way till now because I would have been cute to look back on but my mom and I didn't do that so oh well but um so this is my sweater it looks like that in the back I don't know if you can see it the little cross ribbons um I got this from a, um from Savers a thrift store for only $3.50 which is great my jeans from American Eagle, and then my Keds from DSW, and then my fake pearls. I really you can't see them. I really want new ones, like bigger ones. I want real ones, but and who knows well I would be able to afford that. Um, my necklace from I probably won't be able to pronounce it right. Swavarsky. So whatever. Um, my boyfriend Chris gave this to me for my birthday last year. Or was it my anniversary? One of those events he gave it to me. <laughs> I think it was our anniversary. Oops. <laughs> um, he gave it to me last year. Um, my ring, he also gave that to me. Um, and then my bracelet that my aunt gave me for Christmas. It's really, really pretty. And then my watch because in case we can't use our phones. I found a picture of me from when I was in kindergarten. I couldn't find one from the first day. I, I know it exists, it's somewhere, but I found this from now and oh my gosh, my mom did my hair. My hair is so thick and so that's why my pigtail braids don't even like rest against my head. They just poke out like dog ears and oh my god, those little elastic bulb things, oh my lord. Look at me, in these striped shirts my mom dressed me in, oh my gosh. Yeah, 2002, oh my lord, and it's 2020. We're officially at school, exciting stuff.
Alright, so I just finished both my classes. It's like 7 o'clock now. And I just left the bookstore. I just bought 11 books. All for two English classes. I only have two classes I need books for. And, oh my god, the bag is so heavy. I am so glad I have my bookstore voucher because they all came out to $100. So, I'm so glad I have that. Um, technically, I need 14 for my classes, but I already own one of them because I studied it at a class I took a few semesters ago. And then the last book I have to go to Barnes & Noble to get. So technically, I need 14 books for my two English classes. And let me tell you, if you're ever thinking about becoming an English major, just know you're gonna need, you're gonna have to get a lot of books. They, they might be small because they're just literature, but they're all heavy. More clearly, I wanted to show all 13 books that I need for my two English classes. 13! Okay, so I'm home now. I'm about to eat dinner, watch some Fuller House, and then go to bed because I have to wake up at like 6 tomorrow. But I just want to recap my two classes. My English class today, my press is really, really cool. It's really nice. So uh, basically, it's just a capstone, and we're going to be working on a research paper throughout the whole semester. I'm really excited for that. I mean, I know some people when they hear research paper they're like ugh, but I'm actually looking forward to it. So I think it's going to be a fun class. It's definitely going to be challenging, but I think I can handle it. And then my um, education class, my professor is really, really nice. Um, he's cool. I'm definitely going to learn a lot. Um, I've already seen some of the assignments where we actually get to design our own lesson plans and stuff, and it's just it's going to be fun. It's going to be. I know for a fact I'm going to need a coffee before every class. Fortunately, it's once a week, but it's for two hours and 45 minutes, so it's at 4 o'clock at night. So I'm definitely going to need some perk me up, but this thing is going to be good. So yeah, I'll be back tomorrow to show what my other, cl my other classes are like. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Okay, so it is currently 7.10. I've been awake since 5.15. I woke up before my alarm. I don't know, I just, I can't sleep. Um, I'm ready to go. I have my coffee, my family. We recently got a Keurig and oh my god, we all love it. It's like fantastic. Um, but the traffic is a disaster. It normally takes um, about 50 minutes to get to school on a good day, uh, but now the GPS is estimating about an hour and 20 minutes. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting commute. Fortunately, I have my podcast I'm going to listen to. Um, I have three, four classes today. I have my Shakespeare class, which is my first class. Then I have my Latin American class, which is an international um, elective. And then I have to pick an extra class just to fulfill my credits to graduate. And I'm torn between creative writing or a theater arts class. So I'm going to go to both today and then for your, obviously figure out which one I like more. Um, yeah, so off to school, first day 2.0. So, I hope you can hear me. So, um, I'm obviously sitting in a private area. Private. Um, I'm sitting in an empty area on campus right now. I just have finished my second class of the day. My first class was really good. It was my Shakespeare class. My professor is hilarious, and which is really great because, you know, 9.30 class is pretty early so you're tired right but he's so energetic and he's so funny so he's definitely gonna keep up the energy of the class which is great looking forward to studying all the Shakespeare plays and then my second class was my Latin America class it sounds like it's gonna be interesting we're just studying like um, like the work and the environment 
in those countries. But he let us out early. All of my classes are an hour and 15 minutes. He let us out really early, so I had some free time until my last two classes, which like I mentioned, I have to pick between the two. So, yeah, just hanging out, enjoying the view. Hello again, I'm home. I've been home for a while. Um, so, I don't know where I left off. I think I was talking about my classes. Um, um, I had four classes today. The first one, the professor is really cool, is my Shakespeare class. Um, I'm looking forward to that. It looks really fun. <laughs> when has anyone ever said that in a sentence? Um, but it does. Um, my second class is my Latin American, my Latin America class. Um, I'm not gonna be too crazy about that, not because of the content, the content looks interesting, it's because that class has looked like almost 80 people in there and it was so crowded and I'm not used to taking big classes so it was just so cramped. I don't like how close I was to everyone so that might be a rough one. Um, and my last two classes were the two electives I, I had to pick between, it was creative writing or theater arts instruction acting. Um, I'm having trouble choosing. I actually might not even be able to have a choice. Um, I, I'm interested in creative writing because I've always liked creative writing. I've always um, wanted to write stories. So this class obviously would help me develop those skills. And then I was interested in instruction to acting because my whole life I've done dance in um, choir so I performed on stage many 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 times but I've never done acting because I had stage fright with like speaking um, but I went through an acting phase I've always wanted to be in like the plays and everything at school but I was too chicken to do it and I, I regret it to be honest and so and in college for some reason I never thought to take any theater classes while I've, while I've been here and so I thought, this is my last chance to take it and see, you know, what it's like if I like it. But, um, I'm on the waiting list and, uh, he's, the two people didn't show up today. So he said, come back on Thursday and if they don't show up, then you're in. But if not, if they show up, then I can't get in the class because he can't have more than 16 people. So that'd be sad. But if I can get in, now I'd have to choose between both classes and I like both classes. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I might have to stick with creative writing just to be safe since I'm already enrolled in it officially anyways. But uh, this would have been fun. It would have been a free way to get into acting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just also wanted an easy class because all my other four classes are a lot of work so I just want something easy that didn't have a lot of work in it. But Hello. So I'm going through all my syllabi. I'm gonna go through and highlight all the information that I need. And that's gonna be pretty much it for the rest of the night. I don't, all I, ha I have to do is homework. And that's not entertaining, that's boring to watch. There's nothing else really happening tonight, so I guess that concludes my first day of school vlog because I obviously I obviously finished my classes and I'm home now and yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and stay tuned for my next one. Bye.